The UK Ministry of Defence, they're responsible for buying the equipment, so we're talking about guns, ships, aeroplanes and that, but also supporting it. So we actually uh, integrated two levels when they're building new ships, but also we've got legacy equipment on, on existing platforms out there, so we support the in-service side of that. We look at the applications in the military and identify the sore thumbs and then we will de develop a solution and then go to the customer, often as an unsolicited bid, and say, you have this problem and here's the solution. But when we started looking at some of the uh, innovative products we wanted to develop, and then specifically around the Eurofighter, we've started to get engaged at a number of levels within Schweizlock, coming right from at strategic level all the way down to the engineers. Now the Eurofighter jet itself has got a defensive system on it, which is electronics and that's cooled by refrigerant. The refrigerant system is cooling the defensive aid subsystem, which is helping the pilot defend himself in a combat situation. The electronic countermeasure systems will jam the radar signal from that ground missile system, and also they'll, they'll put a decoy out to change the picture of the aircraft, so any weapon used against them will look at the decoy, and the pilot has got a chance to evade any threat coming his way. What's the whole cycle for this refrigerant then? The reason why that's so important is if the refrigerant level is too low, the system won't operate, and you've basically taken away the whole of the defence system for that particular aircraft. So obviously it's got to be put in and out of the aircraft. Um, they've got to buy the refrigerant because once it's been used, it's contaminated, so they're buying refrigerant as well. When you look at the way the jet operates, they have to have a simulator so they can do mission scenarios. So actually what we did from an innovation point of view is said, right, how do we meet every one of those requirements? And perhaps one of the more difficult ones was recycling of the refrigerant. So we looked at their buying refrigerant you know, at somewhere in around $100 for one kilo. Now, we developed a machine, a concept machine, which we funded ourselves, and actually we were getting somewhere around about 99.7% purity. Now, the Virgin refrigerant is 99.9, .9, but once we'd actually proved the concept, it was worthwhile, it was an easy decision for me then, really, to continue to invest in that, to actually bring it to a production unit, which we did, and achieved 99.9% .9 purity, independently tested, and when you actually worked out the cost to do that, it came in at $15 a kilo. So there's the business case for the customer straight away. The whole refrigerant system within our unit is made up 100% from uh, Swage Lock components. We were fortunate enough to supply a number of different uh, products to, to the Lightfoot systems. Um, so they range from uh, flexible metal hose, microfit weld fittings, uh, stainless steel tubing. We have uh, RL3 uh, relief valves, uh, TF filters, swage lock tube fittings. So it's a real broad cross section of, uh, of products. And the vast majority of those we make sub assemblies for. We get swage lock involved at a very early stage. So by the time we get to a finished product, space like are already specified in there, and we're all very, very clear about what their contribution is going to be. We are looking to drive innovation. Our role is to develop tailored value propositions that focus on a competitive advantage uh, in terms of price, but ultimately deliver the lowest cost of ownership through the service life. What I like about Swagelock products is the effort that goes into producing that product with regards to the quality of the materials, the level of inspection, and generally the culture within Swagelock. I mean, I've spoken to a number of Swagelock employees, and one thing you pick up definitely is everyone's passion about the product. They're proud of it. And uh, that's a wonderful message for us to, to actually hear and see that they are as proud about the product as we are about ours.